Yeah. All right. Uh, Jester, are you starting or am I starting? Six. Do I I'll get start. Choose? Do I get to choose who starts because I won the coin flip? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start. <laughs> All right. It's fine. Okay. Um, I- I'm just going to go over advantages of TikTok first. And, or, um, like, advi- yeah. And then we're going to go into anti consumer behavior for Facebook. Facebook. I don't think. What, what do you, so, what do you mean by advantages of TikTok? Well, like, I, advantage. Like, hold on. Like, advantages that TikTok has over Instagram? Yes, mutually exclusive advantages. Yeah, I disagree. Like, off the bat, I don't think it has any advantage over TikTok. Like, we could talk about, like, okay, the Okay, I agree. Like, Instagram like, yeah. doesn't have any Wait, advantage you know, over TikTok. Thank you for your no, concession. No, that's not what I said. That's not Thank what you for I said. your concession. That's, that's exactly not what, what I said. said. No. I'm recording it. I don't think TikTok has any advantages over Instagram. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, well, that's contradictory to your first statement that I already no. accepted your concession. Like, I'm literally just telling you, I don't think TikTok has any advantage over TikTok, like, over Instagram. Okay. Because if I'm asserting that you said, like, TikTok has advantage over Instagram, that I tell you I disagree. I haven't even, no, I haven't I even presented yet. Well, okay, no, but, but we'll, we'll let the but, recording show. Jester, Jester, Spencer. we'll let the recording show what you said. No, but you're trying to be a rat. You're trying to rat out because I obviously disagree when you said TikTok has advantage over Instagram. So if I tell you I disagree, you know what I'm trying to say. Stop trying to grab a quick concession to try to rat out on a debate. That's just 20 minutes. So can we debate the actual topic? I mean, yeah, we can move on past this point. Okay. So, All right. no, so, I do not think TikTok has any advantages over yeah, Instagram. I'll start, right? So, TikTok gives users warning about their screen time because they care about their eyesight. Okay. Why is that? Okay, I'll tell you why that's, like, irrelevant. Want me to explain why? Oh, wait, wait. I, I haven't even got into why this is an advantage, right? So, these screen time warnings... You, Jester, you're, you're a TikTok guy, right? You've seen this before. Whoa there, no. you're scrolling too fast. Take a break. I haven't seen that. Okay, well... This article by Bustle is talking about them right here, so that's fun. So, so you would you compare? Would you compare, yeah, quick question, Spencer? Would you compare this to somebody having more advantageous business opportunity through an app than another wait, app wait, saying so that you're are, scrolling too fast? Are you going to are you going to attack the point, or are you just going to say I have greater advantages on my side? Because if you're not yeah, going to attack I, the yeah, point, yeah, then no, you can just move on. No, no. So, Spencer, no. Spencer, what I, I'm, I'm telling I'm you... Literally yeah, no, no, yeah, you no, no, yeah, I, I'm addressing you right now. What I'm telling you is that what you brought up is completely irrelevant. It would not, like, give you an actual advantage over what Instagram has to provide against TikTok. So, just the okay. app telling you that you're scrolling too fast, that you're scrolling too fast, versus it's not it too giving fast. you... It, it, wait, yeah, that you're scrolling too, too fast, versus Instagram giving you, like, opportunity, well, like business opportunities man, to make money... I'm not Jesse, strawmanning you. Straw you. Manned me, what right? did I strawman? There are two different types, right? There's one where you're scrolling too fast. I'm referencing where you've been on the app watching content for too long, right? Oh, okay, yeah, I don't care. I-, I told you that's irrelevant. So I didn't strawman you. How is it irrelevant? Because, it, yeah, does so it Spencer, exist, does it Spencer, exist you, on you Instagram? You just accuse me, Spencer, you accuse me of strawmanning you when I asserted something. Does that make any sense? Well, you misquoted what I was trying to say. I you're said, saying, you're no, saying I didn't what? Misquote, I didn't misquote you at all. You did. I didn't misquote you at all. You were talking about said, a different type of ad, Jester. What? I, Jester, man, we're, we're less than five minutes in, and you already need a playback of the recording, dog. I don't think I misquoted you at all. Okay. Even so, what I am speaking of is it is advantageous mm-hmm. to the user's health to know how long they've been scrolling. These ads pop up every five minutes, right? Uh, alleged by the article these ads pop up every five minutes what is happening is this is the app telling the user hey it is bad for your health to continue using right for such extensive time please go take a break oh quick cool question when, when is this article from this is our this article is from bustle are you saying when february like 19th, yeah when they made this okay 2020 so you said these ads pop up every five minutes well this is what the article alleges yeah, I, be- I believe I don't this think may it's have, true. This may have, I yeah, I also believe this may have been some sort of exaggeration. But these ads oh, so don't wait, exist. Wait, 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 so your your art so your article is exaggerated. So like I I don't I don't, This okay, portion yeah, of the article exaggerated. is exaggerated, yes. Okay. So I, I'll, I'll just yeah, it, I don't think I have to take it seriously then. Okay. I, I've already asserted that whether or not the time is correct, these ads exist and these ads are an advantage. Yeah, but there's not an advantage. There's not something that makes it better than Instagram. For well, example, it's something that Instagram yeah, wait, does Spencer, not wait. have so, that is advantageous no. to user health. Okay, okay. So I'm quoting I it as be... an advantage. Spencer, Whether Spencer, it, wait, Spencer, I'm, I'm still wait. speaking, Jester. You're not going to speak okay, over me ahead. like you did as Hazel, right? So 
What? what? Okay, don't even ever say that again. But yeah, go ahead. Don't Whether or that. not there are greater advantages to Instagram slash Facebook side, because it's the same company. Whether or not there are greater advantages to Instagram side is irrelevant to me saying this is an advantage of TikTok. Okay, so quick question. So do you not believe that there are greater advantages on Instagram side compared to TikTok? Obviously not, or I wouldn't be holding the stance that I'm holding. All right, all right, all right. So, okay. So, okay. T uh, Instagram has way better advantages that make that one irrelevant. I don't think that one has to do anything Such with as? TikTok being better than, yeah, uh, the ad revenue they bring in, the business opportunity, the ad opportunity. Okay, small how, how is that owners. in comparison to active users? Active users? What do you mean by active users? Okay, well, you're saying it is a greater business opportunity due to more uh -huh. ad revenue, due to more uh -huh. ad revenue coming in, correct, Jester? No, ad revenue, the money the company brings in, and the uh, business opportunity that people get on the application. Well, business opportunity is yes. based on ads. Do you agree okay. to that? All right, that's fine. Okay, so ad revenue is reflective of the amount of business opportunity because it is how many ads are being displayed. Do you agree to that? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So then ad revenue would be reflective of active users, right? You would have to correlate these two mm -hmm. and basically make an average of ad revenue garnered per active user okay. in the year. How much money, because, how much wait, money did TikTok bring because, in? Wait, excuse me, Jester. Because if you were not to do that, we would be looking at these numbers and we would have no idea. TikTok could bring in more per user than Facebook. That's why I'm requesting how it performs in reference to active users and then how that performs in reference to TikTok. Okay, that would be money? your burden, okay. excuse me, that would be yeah. your burden to fulfill in order to say that this is an advantage above TikTok. Okay, ready? Yeah, Instagram made over 113 times more revenue than TikTok. That's the performance difference. Okay. That's why in the application is so much better. To what difference in active users? And revenue. So what do you mean by active users? Can okay. you clarify real quick? Active like, users are the, the active users. Uh -huh. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But to my knowledge. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. No, you're fine. Stop time. Is anyone keeping time? Uh, yeah. Okay. Does anybody keep time? I know well, we usually just go know. by the clock, but I wanted to make sure because, like, there's an interruption. I don't say no out of pocket shit, but we'll see the recording. <laughs> that video recording. <sighs> All right, I'm back. My bad. My brother came in. What's up? All right. So, Jester, what I was trying to Thank say you. is, right? Mm -hmm. Active users, I, I think it to be self explanatory, but it would be the users active on the app at any given time, any given day, or over any given time span, right? So, these active users are who the ads are being delivered to. So as I've said before, the ad revenue would have to be in reference to active users. Okay, so do you believe TikTok has more active users or more users than Instagram? Yes or no? Active users, no, I do not believe it has more active users. Okay, so so the, no, okay, then Spencer, what are you arguing, right? So if the okay. company brings you, in you more money, you ask me a question. Wait, wait, do you want wait, me to wait, answer wait. it or do you want to make a I, I know, but I, I have to stop you right there because I have to explain something. I haven't something. started yet. Okay, right. I have to stop you right there so I, like so we can clarify something, right? So oh, if you they want to clarify a piece of your question, yeah, I want to I want to clarify something, yes, because if if I, if uh, Instagram has more active users, brings in more money in ad revenue. Right, and brings in more business opportunity for the users on the application. What are you arguing? Okay, Jester, what I'm trying to say is, right, when we take when we look at ad revenue and growth and business opportunity, we must do it in reference to ad revenue divided by active users, right? In business, it's called a customer acquisition cost, give or take. It's how much money do I as a business have to spend in order to get someone onto my site and making a purchase. That's what customer acquisition cost is. This would be a subset of customer acquisition where we're trying to find out how much ad revenue is there per active user. Because that's how we would dictate how how these businesses are growing. Okay, so what are you asserting? Just like to clarify, what I are haven't you asserting? asserted anything. I'm saying, okay, this so what is your, say? I'm saying this is your prerequisite burden in order to say that Instagram delivers better op business opportunity than TikTok. 
Okay, I don't think it is a prerequisite or I don't think it's a burden of mine because all I presented was how Instagram does bring in more money and how Instagram already, as you agreed to, does have more active users and those two things you just by themselves. You yeah, haven't hold presented up. that. You you, just okay, because you didn't ask me. Okay, because you didn't ask me. Well, so I, if I present something and you don't contest my evidence, why do I have to present you? Do you, you want it? You haven't provided evidence. Okay, because you didn't ask me. Do you want it? I mean, no, I agree with you, but you're saying okay, you wait, proved wait, this. What's the point wait, of you even wait. saying that, bro? Jester, you said you proved this, right? And I'm saying no, I just okay. agreed to it. That's so, the okay. Jester, stop. what like, up, Jester. I don't, I don't want to argue. Okay, that's okay, that's like, fine. That's that. fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I I'm going to make my point once more, and if you don't understand it, or if you think you've given a strong refutation for it, can we please conclude on this ad revenue business opportunity sub point? Would you yeah, be fine, fine with that? Okay. Yeah, so. Fine. In order to dictate, as you must, in order to prove that Instagram, or in order to dictate Instagram has better business opportunity than TikTok, you would have to prove that the ad revenue in con or um, ad revenue divided by active users is greater. And I think I've displayed that to be the case because otherwise, if if it's like, oh well, making less in ad revenue per active user. Then there's less business opportunity. Okay. So I'll explain why I don't think it's my prerequisite and why I think that like has nothing to do with it. And if you disagree, we could just go straight to conclusions. Basically, if Instagram is making 113 times more the money that TikTok is making this year, right? On top of it having more active users and members going around, there obviously there's nothing that uh there's nothing that Spencer has given me, given to me to compare to that as to like why I have to prove or have to like divide numbers or, or calc those numbers to prove why like Instagram has a better like profit opportunity or like business opportunity than TikTok if he hasn't even given me anything for TikTok in the first place. So he's basically just accepting everything I'm saying. So I don't think I have to prove anything in comparison to anything when I provide the information that's a huge number compared to TikTok. So I'll go to conclusions if you disagree. I, I think that I, I think that my um my argument of a prerequisite burden overrides your argument and that you are not understanding the crux of my argument. So is this conclusions? I think, I think we can conclude on that sub point. Is that fine with you? Yeah, yeah, we can fine. just move on. Okay. Okay. So um let's talk about Facebook's anti competitive and monopolistic behavior, right? Or let's talk about their um first let's talk about their anti consumer behavior, right? You're mm -hmm. aware that Facebook acquired Oculus, right? Okay. And that at this acquisition, Facebook said they guaranteed users would never need a Facebook account to use an Oculus headset. So what does it have to do with Instagram? Cool question. Facebook owns Instagram. Okay, so company. what does so okay, so what does Facebook and the VR headsets have to do with Instagram? Uh, Facebook owns Instagram. This is the active this is the actions of the company, right? The uh -huh. company that holds ownership. And okay. therefore, these actions would be reflective upon Instagram. Because okay. these would be the so, kind so, of business... No, I, wait, I disagree. Excuse me, excuse me. So, because these disagree. would be the kind of business decisions that Instagram would be making. Yeah, I disagree completely. And if, if we want to like over, like over look over business decisions, I got a couple for you. So first off, I'll like address what you just brought up. I don't think that the app in itself has anything to do with what that company was doing uh, with the VR headsets because that's a whole separate operation from what Instagram is. So if the debate is instagram versus tiktok i'm talking about instagram as the application in itself i don't care about what the overall company facebook has to do oh yeah hold up i don't care what the overall company of facebook has to do with some random vr assets when i'm talking about the opportunity or what instagram has to offer against tiktok but if we want to talk about what tiktok does are you aware of the shadow banning and, and Wait, like community Jester, fund Jester, problem? let's please not move on into different points let's attack the point that's in front of us i just did what you attacked that and then you said are you aware of this other point uh-huh i would not like to move up? on to that point until we I don't finish think I'm this first on. one i don't think i'm moving on to a separate point you're talking you about why? you're talking about anti-competitive behavior of tiktok right or uh -huh. so anti-consumer behavior right yeah, yeah, yeah we're I'm talking about to that one. we're talking about this one piece of anti-consumer behavior of facebook and you've already brought on why is facebook instagram and i haven't gotten to refute that so i'd like to. so sure okay, okay go ahead so what you've presented is an ambiguity fallacy. You're saying, Why? okay, well, my interpretation of the premise is as such when we were only granted the premise as it was with no extrapolation, right? So you're saying, and we're only talking about apps, right? And not companies. 
or the companies that own those companies would be an ambiguity fallacy. Are you aware of that? I don't think so. No, what do you want to explain? Like dropping the definition word for word in general? Yeah, I'll, I'll get you a logically fallacious definition. Are you fine with that site? Sure. I don't think I committed anything that was logically fallacious. Well, logically fallacious is just a website. Oh, that's fine. I don't, yeah, I don't think I committed anything that was fallacious either way. This is from fallacyfiles.org. Logically fallacious has another one. Mm -hmm. More than once in an argument, it has two different meanings or different occurrences. Okay. Oh, so let me, oh, get the, put, let me get yeah. the description and logical example from logically fallacious as well. Okay. So you're changing the premise, right? More so than what it was stated towards us in order to gain some sort of, um, in order to gain some sort of ground in the debate. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that at all. I don't think I'm changing the premise at all. Do you want to explain, like, why? Yes, so, like, because look, you so, added... Yeah. Wait, you asked me a question. I'd like to answer it. All right? So you've added this element of... Wait. We're not talking about companies. We're only talking about apps. I didn't ask you a question, Spencer. I was about to, like, address what you are saying. You asked me, Just would you like to explain why? I said, would you like me to explain why? So all you have to say is yes, and I'll explain why. It's not something for you to answer. Like, like, I, so I like, thought I, I'm sorry, Jester. I okay. heard you incorrectly. My bad. I thought okay, you were fine, asking man. me to explain as to why no. I believe you've committed to this fallacy. Not no. I, I'm I, I'm okay. just I just want to address your Go argument forth, because then. I don't want to sit here while you're talking. So yeah, pretty much all I did was bring up how he's talking about the overarching company, and if we're talking about Instagram versus TikTok and the whole overall like like I think premise or I don't know if it's the correct to say premise of the debate is that what's better instagram or TikTok, and my opponent brings up vr headsets that the overarching company or the father company of, of instagram is doing to random vr headsets i don't think that has anything to do with instagram the app versus TikTok, the app so i don't think you brought up anything that's relevant at all which is why i brought that up okay i don't you, think i've committed you anything that was fallacious Jester, until you finish it off with the app because that was my entire issue okay why, why is that a problem that I said the app? Okay, I, I just, I said that it, it falls upon an ambiguity fallacy. You're saying that these words, right, TikTok and Instagram, you're saying, oh, well, I'm only using it as the app when that was never given in our premise. It just said the words, right? So I'm okay, taking it as the company and the app. What, okay, okay. So why are you assuming that it's the entire company and the app when all that we were giving is Instagram versus TikTok, right? Because I'm giving, like, I'm wait, giving wait, wait, battleground. Wait, 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 what the app has to do against the other app you making an assumption that we're talking about the app plus the entire company makes zero sense that's, My, that's not an assumption the, the, that's just a baseline interpretation no if you mean the assumption if that we're talking about says, the app and the if, company no 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 if someone says we are talking about a being and i bring in all forms of that being i'm not i'm not assuming anything i am taking their words at their most basic of interpretations. Quick question, quick question, Spencer. So if they say Mikey or they say Justin no, versus minutes left. Okay. If they say Mikey versus No Luck, right? Will they be talking about Mikey and his father versus No Luck? Now you're going back into whether Facebook is applicable, right? Do you want to argue whether Facebook is applicable now? The, okay, Spencer, what I've been arguing the entire time is that you bring up something that Facebook has done to try to make it to make make Instagram look bad, right? When the thing that you brought up in the first place has nothing to do with the app Instagram at all. It, it's irrelevant to the debate. Okay, you let, let me once irrelevant. again, let me once again say as to why I believe it is relevant, right? Because we're running short on time. So I believe seeing as Facebook owns Instagram and they are an arm of Instagram, er, Instagram is an arm of Facebook now, right? The business decisions made by Facebook would be reflective of Instagram because these would be the same people making the business decisions of Instagram. So while this anti-consumer behavior would not be of Instagram, this is the kind of anti-consumer behavior okay. we should expect of so, Instagram. So, so ready? So this is what we're going to fall back on. So you said it's not of instagram so you're going to assume that that's what we expect of instagram when we're not doing facebook and instagram versus 
TikTok. We're doing Instagram versus TikTok. So you're going off of something that's the father company of Instagram, which is why I brought up the analogy and actually the question. If we're doing Mikey versus No Luck, are we doing Mikey and his father versus No Luck? Yes or no? I think I've made very clear why my argument is applicable. Okay, why are you not? Can you answer the question? If we do Mikey versus No Luck, if I say Mikey versus No Luck, why would Mikey? No, it's not disanalogous. It's the same thing. It's a father company. So if we say Mikey versus No Luck, is Mikey's father included in that? In that fight? I mean, I th- I don't think that's an analogous situation. And I'll explain as to why before we end the debate, right? So, why it's I believe up. these... Okay. I'm up. Do I just need to stop <sighs> or should I continue with my argument? No, I want both of you to conclude. Okay. Yeah. So, I think I've made... Uh, I started first. Jester, do you want to conclude first? I, I don't I know. I wasn't talking. I'll, I'll let you go. Okay. So, I believe I made exquisitely clear... Why there is an, an advantage to user health on um, TikTok. Why um, Instagram... Um, I've taken down the only advantage of ad revenue by saying this cannot be displayed to be better than TikTok unless we know what it is. Yeah, exquisitely clear, no one. Unless we know what the numbers are in reference to active users because that, be de- um, that would be like correlated to their growth, right? And then... I think I've made another disadvantage towards Instagram in Facebook's anti-consumer behavior. And I also believe that I won the argument over whether Facebook's decisions should be correlated um, in Instagram's decisions. So with that, I yield my time. Okay. Uh, In conclusion, I think I proved a better advantage that would make Instagram overall better than TikTok as he proves or brought up something about uh, it's saying that you're scrolling too fast compared to Instagram bringing in 113 more times the money that TikTok does as a whole. So I think I've displayed why the company Instagram as a whole is better or has a way better advantage than what TikTok has or whatever Spencer proposed, right? I don't think the contentions that Spe- uh, Spencer proposed really had anything to do with it because if he brings up we have to divide the ad revenue versus this, this, and this, right? He had nothing to for TikTok to compare to the statistics that I brought up and even like dropped the point that you know, like, I don't have to, like, present him any, like, evidence if he already agrees to it. So if he already agrees that that's how much Instagram makes and he has, he's, talk, he's, like, trying to make me to compare something at all and he doesn't bring up anything for TikTok or any actual proper advantage that TikTok would have over Instagram, I don't think he fulfilled anything in this debate at all. And to the point about the father, Facebook being the father company of TikTok, I feel like my opponent was dancing around the question when I proposed to him, if Mikey fights no luck, is Mikey's father also included in the fight? He claimed it was disanalogous and never proved why it was and just refused to answer the question when I brought up that just because it's the father company and we're talking about in our debate, Instagram versus TikTok. So if it's Instagram versus TikTok, I don't think what Facebook did to some random VR headsets is relevant at all to the debate. So that's why I think I won. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you to the judgment on this one. I'm not going to leave it a secret. So... I guess I'll talk about the last point first because I fucking want to. Don't ask me anything else. Let me get all my words together. So what Spencer is saying, and I believe he said it clear enough so I could understand, and I think you were misunderstanding, Jester, is that Facebook owns Instagram. So the business practices that Facebook implements since they own Instagram, we should also see Instagram doing as well. Or or they should be um I said I guess you could say a victim yeah, reflective upon or a victim of those business practices. It's like if if I have two if i have two puppets right i can directly control my puppets and make them do what i want them to do but if i have a dog the dog can kind of just do what he wants i guess that's like how i would make an analogy and i i think i just don't think you were understanding it well enough I was going off of more, uh, he was talking about it being a father company. 
to like yeah, Instagram. Yeah, Cause, yeah, yeah. Because what you, what you were saying was more like, for, like um, Spencer saying, you know, since your dad did this, you also have to do this. But he was saying something else. Um. Yeah. So it's not it's not like you know you got fucking smashed or some shit on that point. I just don't think you understood. But I do think Spencer won that point. Um, and then about the point of revenue, how much it generates and whatnot, Spencer was basically trying to tell you that the only way what you're saying could be an advantage is as if, if it was an advantage relative to the amount of active users on the app, right? So the way... The way I would put this into, like, I'll just try to, like, go out with what Spencer was saying. Right? He He's saying, say Instagram has 2 million users, TikTok has 500,000, right? Uh, no, let me, let me up that number. Instagram has it's, 10 million it's users. It's 1 billion versus 457k. Or yeah, that's too much million. fucking math, so I'm not yeah. doing that one. But say Instagram has 10 million and TikTok has 1 million, right? Um, and Instagram makes $5 per user they have, per active user they have. And TikTok makes $10 per active user they are. Wait, no, $6 per active user they have, right? Instagram has more active users and overall generates more revenue. But per user, TikTok generates more you yeah that saying? was uh so yeah that was my problem with the point i had a, a grasp on what he was saying which is why i brought up the comparison thing right so that's why i brought up how if i'm bringing up a statistic for how much this company makes for this and x amount of money this x amount of money they bring them this much more money than tiktok right and he brings up the um how do i say he brings up the thing about the uh, the active users and stuff like that I don't think he gave like any statistic for TikTok to actually compare against like Instagram statistic at all. Like I don't think he provided an advantage over it. That's why. That's why. That's why he was because you were the one. You were the one claiming that this was an advantage, right? So Spencer was placing the burden on you to show that it is actually an advantage. Right. right? So I went off the. I went off the the marker that I presented something or I presented a, a a statistic of what is it. Instagram making more money and why Instagram making more money would equal more business opportunity for the users, which like he also didn't ask like the evidence for it. He basically like, agreed to, right? So like I went under like the the notion, right? That if I bring this up, right, and he has nothing for TikTok to compare, right? He has nothing to show why it like wouldn't be an advantage at all. Like he had, like uh for I don't want to mess up my words, but for example, it's like if uh I bring up a point and then somebody doesn't like refute it. That's how I take yeah. it as essentially benchmarking um i don't remember that being said oh uh, which one you have the recording right yes and i'm still recording oh fuck we'll stop it and like well no your internet is shit i don't want to wait that long <sighs> can anyone else just clarify they heard Jester say that it's what he was trying to get to, but I didn't. Wait, really, what happened? I, I didn't fuck probably. with it because I didn't think he displayed it well enough. But yeah, obviously so, that's so, like. So see, what I what I heard was exactly what I said. No luck says he heard it. Troy, did you hear it? Or what? Hear this dick down your throat, nigga. That's anyway, right. oh my god. No, but uh, just what Jester said, Troy. Or were you not listening? I don't, yeah, yeah. Repeat what he said. I might have heard. Jester was saying he was benchmarking revenue. That's not what I got from it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. It's get uh, that either. It's more like in like right the simpler term. But I probably wasn't listening. Okay. I wasn't listening. Like to... I fucking hate Shrekker. Oh my god, Prophet, what the fuck? leave me alone. Oh my god. You'll repeat um what you're asking, Jester. Yeah, pretty much. I said that like 
uh, all in all, I know like that was a specific term for it, a benchmarking, but I brought up how um, I brought up a, a statistic to hold as an advantage over like Spencer. And it's like as in the equivalent of Spencer, like I bring up a point and Spencer brings like no refutation. So I bring up how TikTok made a 113 times more the money than TikTok did, right? And we'd have to compare whether that'd be an advantage or not. So if I'm asserting that's an advantage, as in it's making more money than TikTok, and like Spencer agrees, but he brings nothing for TikTok as to be advantageous over that. So like, you know what I'm saying? I remember him bringing up the 100 and whatever times, like money thing, right? Yeah, that was, my, that was me. That's for Instagram. I remember that shit. Yeah, that's for Instagram. Is that what you were asking, Six? If he put that up? No, no, because I remember that. I was asking if he ever, like... So, basically, Jester is trying to benchmark, and Spencer is trying to force him into, like, a direct comparison uh, by saying... By asking the whole, like, you know, per active user, how much ad or how much revenue does it generate? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then... So then since Jester is on the offensive, I'm trying to, I'm asking everyone who is listening, if anyone heard Jester like directly contest that with what he is saying. Yeah, I said it before my conclusion and in my conclusion. You you could like go back and run the recorder. I'm fine with that. If he directly contested the whole Spencer.